Well, welcome to Descriptive Astronomy, AST1002. I'm your instructor, Professor Eric Christensen. I will guide you through this fascinating study of, of the stars, the solar system, and beyond uh, that you will be going through over the next, uh, the, the next 16 weeks during this term. So uh, hopefully, what you really need is your syllabus. Print it out from the uh, D2L so that you have it, and especially the last page. That's one I would put in the front of my notebook or the back cover of the notebook or on the refrigerator at home because it guides you through each week and tells you exactly what to do. I don't want to read everything in this syllabus because you can do that. So I'm just going to hit a few of the key points. Uh, you can see the textbook and there's a DVD set. The DVD set is not available through the bookstore. They won't carry it, so you'll have to order it online which you can, should be able to get it within a week or so. You don't need it until week four. Um, you, can down, you can view them through Netflix if you're a member of that. Uh, iTunes, you can also download them. It might be cheaper just to, to buy them though if you're not members of either of those. Um, okay, so the course is totally online. You do not have to come on campus at all um, for, for tests or anything. Yes, you can submit everything to me electronically. Uh, I do hope you do, will come on campus, at least for one of our star parties, which I'll talk about in a few minutes, and uh, introduce yourself to me. Or if you're in the HSC building, the Health Science building, I'm up on the second floor, stop by and say hello. So it's critically important the first week you do the orientation assignment. It's so that I know that you know how to use the main components of desire to learn that you'll be required to use during the course of the term. Biggest thing is that you submit your files that are in a Microsoft Word compatible that I can read them. And there's more about that in the syllabus. Okay, I mentioned the DVDs, uh, not till about week four, so you have time to get those. Each week there's a quiz. It's a mastery type quiz, which you can take it over and over as many times as you want during that week. It covers the chapter that we're covering and only your highest score counts. So uh, I behoo behoove you to strive to get, uh, you know, 100% on your quiz each week. Um, there will be four exams. They will, they're spaced out um, every uh, two to three weeks, and they will cover uh, you know what, what we've been talking about, what you've been studying in the book, the DVD, the active explorations. There's a variety of things that compass. It's not all from one source, so as I think you'll find out when you take those. Okay, there is a review session, which is an ongoing one, which I've set up as a collaborative one. It's called a wiki, sort of like Wikipedia. There's more about that in the in the syllabus. I'll be sending you an e email very soon inviting you to join it. Uh, I encourage you to use your, your desire to learn uh, username and password to help you remember it, but the username will help me identify you because I will give you points for your participation in that and you will actively develop a study guide amongst all of yourself collaboratively. There are two, two assignments, uh, projects in this course, a STAR project I'm going to assign each of you a star. You should be able to find that on D2L, which star you've already been assigned. And you will have to apply some of the things we're learning the, in general about stars to your specific star. Okay? And that's worth 100 points, or 10% of your grade. If you turn it in a week early or earlier, you get a 10% bonus. So that's a whole letter grade. There's also a lunar observation project. This is the most complex part. It takes a month of every of watching the moon every other day and making a few observations. And then you have to correlate that with the tides. There's a whole section, another video discussing that. Um, the biggest advice the students have always told me when I ask them at the end of the term is they said, tell future students to start on this early. You cannot start on it too early. So, I mean, if you start on this week, it would be great. At least read about it so you understand what it's all about. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me or email me. Email me is better, but calling is fine. Okay, um, I'll have an online self-reflection throughout the term where I'll ask you a couple questions and uh, for you to reflect upon your, your progress so far in the course. Uh, we have an astronomy, the NASA has a site called the Astronomy Picture of the Day. And I want you to do a little discussion board on that where you look through those and, and pick your, most, your favorite or what you think is the coolest one and tell us why and relate to where you find it in the book. And that's worth a few points. So all these things add up so that the tests have less, the, the tests are not the major portion of your grade. I mean, they're about 40%, but all the other stuff adds up. So you, even if you do poorly on the test, if, you, if you're a diligent student and, and do all of the activities that are required, you can do just fine in this course. Um, don't turn in things late. 
Again, I give you bonuses for turning them in early, uh, but late there's penalties and they're kind of severe, okay? And you can read about them in there, but they, they take off day by day and after a week, I don't even want to see it. So, um, okay, we're going to have star parties, which basically is we set up some telescopes at night and anyone that wants to can come on the campus and we will we will look at things, whatever's available at night. You know, uh, the moon, if the moon's out, we'll, we'll study the moon. Otherwise, we'll look at deep sky objects and we'll look at nebula um, planets. If we'll usually find a planet or two. You know, um, some stars, constellations, and so forth. Usually have a very good time. I have a little worksheet for you to do there. Uh, you'll get 10 bonus points for every one. That, there are five of them scheduled. It does depend on the weather. Sometimes the weather just is not cooperative. So you can see the dates already predefined for the whole term. So you can see mark those off on your calendar. I think the first one is uh, January, Friday, January 20th. Try to have one uh, every month or every three weeks. Okay, your grade is out of 1,000 points. It's spelled out in the syllabus, so read that. Um, okay, that's good. Um, that's a bunch of stuff you can read about. So... I think that I'm going to end with this, just saying that I'm glad you're in my course. Please, please, if you're having problems, let me know. If something major in your life happens and you need to take some time out from the course, talk to me about it. If you're struggling, let me know. Let me see if I can give you some suggestions or pointers. I've been teaching this course for five or six years now, so I've taught a lot of students and they've all given me feedback. And so uh, I have a big database of suggestions or ways the students have done to, to help them. But I really think you'll find it interesting. Most students say this course is fun. I worked very hard to have a lot of hyperlinks so that you have no more than two clicks to get to anything. So um, let me know if you find something that, that doesn't work there and I'll, I'll fix it as soon as I, you know, right away, uh, best I can. So um, with that, I'm gonna let you go, but please, please read the syllabus and your first quiz is on the syllabus. So have a copy of that with you and you'll do just fine. Great, I'll see you around campus. Thank you.